BB. Hey, BB. Hey, BB. He's so cute. He's gotten so big. What's that, baby? <laughs> He, he carries this thing around. Look at how big it is. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. Oh, this is Oliver, and that's Bob back there. But hello, welcome to today's video. Uh, we are a mother-daughter crafting team who likes to laugh and craft and bring inspiration and cr to your creativity. Hopefully, you like cats, too, because uh -oh. Oliver's cute. Where'd it go? Oh, God. <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but welcome to today's video. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to be making a really cute fun fold that mom made with this uh, new stamp set. Mm -hmm. And it's called Country Birdhouse. It's so cute. Let me show you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't show them yet. <sighs> okay, fine. It's got a belly band. And you take it off and it look cute. Cute, right? Pretty. What is? Took me forever Pretty? to design. It's or... like a little cuckoo house. Or birdhouse. It's a birdhouse, bird house. but it looks like a cuckoo house. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Isn't that cute? It's so stinking adorable. So it's kind of like a 3D card, um, and it'll pop up and sit up on your table. So yes. um, we are going to get started showing you how to make this yourself. <sighs> you guys, this is um, really cool. I was scrolling, trying to get some inspiration over on Pinterest, and came across this fun card. Um... I think Karen Titus did it with a big front panel on the front where the birdhouse is. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it would be so cute to open this up. And Use some of the new designer series paper and um, design this. But yeah, it turned out really cute. Uh, I, I just love it. Yeah. So we are going to show you how to make it today. But if you want to learn how to make it using supplies that you already have at home, um, that's where you want to join our VIP experience. So if you want to learn about the VIP experience, make sure to check out this link here. So that way you can get in and don't miss out on this month's VIP experience. Cause they were not showing it anywhere else. You gotta be in this month's one, which is going to happen by April 27th at 10 AM. We have an exclusive live stream. So. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Whoop, whoop. All right. Let's do it. So, um, I am using some of the new products here. So, um, yeah, we're using the Unbound Beauty oh. Designer. Oh, wow. wow. My nails match, guys. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but it matches that. Wow. What is that? Berry Burst? No, it's Petunia Pop. It's like Petunia. Yeah, it's Petunia Pop. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's really pretty. That's cool. In person, it's really pretty. <laughs> she got her nails done and her toes done. done. She's going on a cruise. It's really fancy. I've never had my nails done before. Never? No. Not not gel? No, I've had like it painted one time. Really? But others have oh. never had them shaped or anything like that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we are using the new Country Bird House, and it's got matching dies right here. Tons of dies in here. Different things that you can do. You can stamp the image and do your own um, drawing on there and then die cut it out. I mean, so many fun things that you can do. I just stinking love this and of course I matched it with this beautiful paper um the paper that does match it is um I think we did show them uh, uh it's a country it's got woods and oh, it's country got some, side something yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know the names yet but anyway I thought I'm a brights person and I like all the bright fun colors in here that I'm gonna do this card and it's actually, it's really not that hard, you guys. The hardest part, I think, is all the bits and pieces um, that are part of this. And so I did some stamping and all that kind of fun Cutting stuff. Cutting and coloring. Exactly, beforehand. And um, you know what? Yeah, here it is. Okay. I was like, I was I like it's right here. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and cut most of the items, like the coloring. Now I did the birds and flowers. and the flowers. Now the colors that I used, I made sure I hung Wait, you out. You have multiple birds. I do. I just there's one there. Oh, I just die cut a whole bunch of okay, them. Okay, I was like, what? Yeah, there's, I only see yeah. one right here. Like, am I behind? <laughs> so the blends that I used um, is peach pie, real red, granny apple, green, and crumb cake. Hmm. Look what snuck in. Oh, dang it. Look what snuck in into your little packet. Oh, imagine. Imagine that. Imagine it's like that. you were using them or something. I know. Can you believe it? 
And then of course I got my other dimensionals. So since I did already the die cutting, of course we got Wink Estella. This is back in stock, you guys. You can purchase it. It is? It is. Thank God, because we need one. Ours is drying up. Is it? This one? I got two of them oh. over here. So yeah, I you wonder. said that we were running out. I don't know. You never know with me. I literally, I was using um, it. Running out, like... running out for me is like having 10 packs of dimensionals and I'm like panicked. <laughs> right. Because but, we're running out. But if you, <laughs> you don't use Wink Estella as much as your dimensionals. I, very true. Very true. We're going to use some of the brush brass, brass butterflies. These are carrying over. They're basses now. They're basses. And um, all these pieces here. So let me get started with our card base. So our card base is just a... Uh, 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 a gatefold and this card I had to think for a little bit give me a minute here I'm all excited she's already crafting at an angle I already am so this is called a pop-out panel gatefold there you go I, I, I don't feel right no no, no 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 come in there <laughs> So we have our score lines. We're going to take five and a half by eight, score at two, four, and six. Easy. And it, yep. And again, I got this information from Karen Titus. And um, yeah, it's super, super fun. So it's basically creating a W. An M. Or an, oh yeah. That's a W. That's a W. Well, <laughs> that's an M. Yeah, I don't know my alphabet. An M. <laughs> So anyway, we're just taking our bone folder and going over this. And now what I did for the inside of this card is I used one design and then a different one on the front. Now, of course, this is where I left a blank intentionally because this is where you can sign it. You can stamp your little sentiment. You can stamp some little birds on the back of it if you want. But I left it blank. So anyway, we want it to be like an M. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put our designer series paper down first. So again, this is the two color. I feel like this is orange sherbet. It, it just does oh my gosh. I feel like I can taste it almost. All right, so we're going to put those on just with some glue. Yep, I'm just using glue. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Now these pieces um, you're going to need six pieces. So I got the two for the front, four on the inside. And they measure... This is the other side of the paper, if you're wondering. Yeah, they measure one and three-fourths by five and a quarter. One and three-fourths. All one right. One and three-quarters. Nine and three-quarters. Nine and three-quarters. <laughs> nine and three-quarters. All right, let's see here. Oh, my goodness. You know, I just used this glue earlier today, and you would think it would stay unplugged. And you you know, are you sure that's not the other glue that you have sitting right there? Uh, yeah, well, this one's almost out, but I suppose I could give it a whirl. Maybe I was using this one. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. That was a die set. I will. It, it was. Do we still have that one? I think I that one. No. Yep. Look at that. This is the one I was using. Yep. Exactly. I All think right. actually I've been having issues with this one. Oh no, this one's like almost empty too. No, that one's full almost. This? Yes. It's not that heavy. Yeah, it is compared to this one. Right? Mm-hmm. I on it, they're like neck and neck. No way. Yeah. No, this one's No, heavier. they're like neck and neck. That one is Okay, heavier. let me let me mess it up. Okay. And now you I'm going like this. So yeah. I don't even know which one's which now. So well, which one's the heavier one? This one. I don't know which one's which, so try that. <laughs> this is the plugged one. No, that was the heavier one you just said. Yeah, but it was the plugged one. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Yeah, see this oh, is the plug one. <laughs> yeah, so this one was <laughs> I'm so confused. The, the one that I initially drew was the heavy it's one. The heavy one. Yeah, okay. and I thought, oh, this has got lots of glue in it. I won't run out during the video. But Psych. yeah. Psych. Okay. Mind if I help? Yeah, you can help. Oh no, this is what oh, happens. Oh Lord. See, that's what I was afraid. You squeezed too hard. Now we're gonna have well, a big was, bump in our paper. It was plugged. Uh, yeah, way to go. I'm sorry. Wow. You this just is gonna like, be upside down. You guys it out a little. What am I gonna do with her? Well, you know that is what you do not want to do with your glue. If you don't want to have bumpy paper, you're fine. Don't do a cable. You're fine. Don't do it. It's upside down. Are you doing that on purpose? Yeah, because everything else is upside down. Why? Because I didn't turn it upside right when you I was putting it I know. Okay, so we got those two on, or those four actually. <laughs> Sorry. 
I know how to count, she too. She doesn't know letters or numbers. <laughs> she didn't have an education growing up. Okay, so because these are still drying, I'm just going to flip them over. You're going to put them on the end pieces. So you take one, I take one. Is my plugged up glue? Yeah, well, it's unplugged now. Well, I like this side. It is pretty, it's but it feels a like an 80s vibe. Petunia pop and... What uh, balmy. Blue? Balmy blue. I would think. Yeah, you could put that down there. Oh, we're, oh, we're doing... We're doing it all at the same time. Wow. That's wow. pretty cool. I've never made a card like this with someone. Okay, so now that we got that, you better put your lid on your glue there, girlfriend. Okay, so you got that. We have this. We have this. So, um, do you want to fussy cut? I'll fussy cut this. No, I could fussy you cut. You could cut those ends off if you want. Well, I'll fussy cut and you could do the other stuff. Okay. So, what we did is we went ahead and stamped um, the greeting and the happy birthday. Uh, in real red. So we're going to fussy cut around here like we did on the belly band. Where's the belly band? I uh heard. -huh. Yep, we're going to fussy cut around really easy. Um, and then Kayla's going to cut these at an angle. Okay. Now, what you could do is you could cut them at an angle like the same as the pot, but I, I just did them all at the one angle. Completely up to you, obviously. Okay, here we go with the aggressive cutting. <laughs> Let's see. See, this is my, my thumb before. And my, oh, I, I, I don't know how I did that. I did that earlier. What you were fixing things yeah, for me. Yeah, but I didn't. She's my handyman, yeah. handy person. Handy person. Okay, so now this mechanism right here is the part that pops out in the middle. And um, you're gonna make sure that you measure this at one inch by five, and you're gonna score it a half an inch and four and a half, or just turn it over, score it half inch on both ends. So we're gonna give this a good burnish. Maybe you should try your technique of cutting. By not holding Using, it so high? Yeah, look at, see, I already got a mark. Oh, my stars. Let's try it. Mom does this, so I'm going to try using my pointer finger. And then if I get, if I want it to go slow, I tighten up on the on that one. But Okay, so now this piece is the piece, whoops, then I just bent it. Whoopsie. Um, this is the piece that's going to be laying right in the middle here like so like so like so and actually i think we'll just go ahead and we'll glue that right now just so i don't lose my parts and it's you would lose your head it, if it wasn't attached well to you. sometimes yeah hey i was totally. telling our hairdresser that today oh my gosh she showed up to mom showed up today thinking she had her hair cut um nope it wasn't until tomorrow. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Hold on. I'm going to, I have that off kilter there. Okay. So you see how that works? Nice. Okay. That's where our little pop out mechanism is. We're going to save this for the front. Okay. Now I'm going to get these pieces out. I went ahead and die cut this with our deckled circles, our stylish shapes. And that is, where's the belly bam? That is where we use these on the front of the belly band, okay? So I did that ahead of time. Now what I didn't do is I didn't cut the pieces for the house. And I wanted to show you the pieces because there's quite a few pieces. And however you design your house is exactly how it should be. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks great, thank you. Yeah. Um, however it is, you know, you can design it any way. This is just how I did mine. So on here, I took this little fancy thing. Fancy Nancy. Fancy thing that's gonna go on there. Then we're gonna take our two, our, our thin little one, and our fancy Nancy. awning thing, whatever you wanna call this thing. Fancy okay? Nancy. So these two fancy ones. Okay. You like me. I yeah, feel like you don't like she's me. She's just being a, being a, a little turd hey. because she's gonna be away from me. My fingers aren't as bad. Still a little bad there, but not as bad. How did you like cutting like I that? I didn't. <laughs> I felt very out of control, and I love control. I didn't. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so um, this is a little hole that is um, for our little birdhouse right here that you get in. The steering wheel. Yeah, it looks like a steering wheel. That's how you drive a birdhouse. So I'm going to make room on this paper right here. We're going to do all the die cutting. Um, right here. Now, this little circle is going to cut out two circles. A teeny, teeny, tiny one, and then the big one that goes around. So make sure you get both pieces. Get both of them. Get both of them. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with that one. 
This piece right here, of course, is going to be our house. So we're just going to go ahead and take and Your die cut that. horizontal lines. Oh, wait. Oh, I did it. I she cut it the, cut wrong, way. the wrong way. Oh, my. God. I think you should try doing it this way. I don't know. No, I think you should try it. It'll make it look taller. I don't know. I don't know. Siding on a house goes left to right, not up and down. Not always. I don't like it. <laughs> that's just me. It's going to bother like, me. She's like, no, Kayla. No, no, that's just me. So if you have directional paper, make sure that you're keeping Good catch, Kayla. the Good catch. tall. Oops. Oh, so ours, of. for example, our tallest measurement, which is five. Wait, what is? Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I need the measurement oh, for sorry. this piece. So for the house, no, it's not. It's four and a half tall, three and a half wide for this piece. So just make sure your your tallest one is on the left and the right <gasps> side. She messed up my dice. You would have to move it anyway. Okay. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, for the birdhouse, that is not part of the paper that's in that Unbound, Unbound Beauty. Um, we are using the new 2426 in color designer series paper for the bird house. Okay, so we're going to cut that out eventually on there. Okay, this piece for our um, what's this pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie peach pie? We're going to be doing our base here, that's underneath over here, and then our biggest um, peak of the house mm -hmm. right here. On mm. another piece. I was wondering where that piece was. Yeah. So wait, what's this piece? So that one's gonna be um so there's our peach one. Oh, I that see one's it. gonna be the, the middle one. I see it. Oh there's look a cat, cat hair. hair. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so that's all our pieces. So, so we gotta get our die cutting machine. I got it, don't worry. All right, Kayla, you bring it on in. Okay. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Do you hey, want to do, camera. Do you want to do the white ones? Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay, you go for it. I'm a big girl. You're a big girl? No. Are you so? No. No. Wow. Not bad. Not it's bad like I'm a all. professional or something. It's like you've done this before. I heard. What's a die cutting machine? A die cutting machine? Yeah, what is a die cutting machine? It's that thing right in front of you. But what does it do? It cuts dies out. Not always. <laughs> You can have. You can emboss. What's embossing? It, it, it makes an impression on paper. <laughs> an impression on paper. Yeah. What else can you do? I'll with it? show you an impression on paper. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. Oh. Okay. So. Wow, right. this came out clear. So this is what mom was talking about: is that the tiny circle stayed in the die? Mm -hmm. So just make sure you get that out. You can just drop it on the table, and it should pop out pretty easily. And then there's all our pieces. So. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. So now you can cut this one out. Oh, I get to do all of it. Okay. You sure can. Okay. I'm not going to complain. Let's go this way. Hey. Mm -hmm. This way. You gave it to me wrong. Oh, I did? Yep. You oh. were going to make me cut tall and, and skinny again. <laughs> <laughs> or the lines going up and down, and then that all of this would have been for nothing. Oh yeah, it would have been. It would have been. No, we would have made it work. I would have. I would have suffered. So you can go through it once, and normally that's enough. I just like to do it twice because just in case I don't want to get another piece of paper and cut it again. So right. Right. There's that one, okay. and these. Perfect. Make sure you have the pointy sides down facing the paper. Otherwise, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. It won't cut it. It won't cut it. It won't make the cut. Cut hey, it out. little man. Hi. We got the baby again. He's the baby. He wants attention. He keeps brushing against my legs. Mm -hmm. That's what he is was doing. Is his ball here. around here? Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Oh, yep. Yeah. He wanted us to throw that. Ready? Are you ready? Ready? Are you ready? Ready? Yeah, okay, ready? Go. He went. <laughs> you couldn't see it, but he went. He likes to play fetch. It's okay. Funny. Okay. I think those are all the pieces. Wonderful. I think it is. I think we are good. I'm just going to set that down here. So. All right. Let's make sure we get all our pieces because we have a lot going on here, boys and girls. Put this. Mm-hmm. 
stuff. This one down first. I have no idea where these things yeah, went. No, you're exactly right where I wow. got it. Imagine that. Okay, so there's our tiny circle. Don't lose that. Okay. okay. All right. So I think we got everything. So now Kayla's going to put the birdhouse together. <gasps> I get to put the birdhouse together? You certainly do. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this here for reference. Mm -hmm. Mom, you're going to do that one? I am going to cut the belly band out. Oh. The belly band is um, one inch by 10 inch. One by 10? One by 10. And then do you just fold it around the card stack? I do. We gently fold it around. Okay, so off camera, what are you doing? I am cutting. To the right size. To the right size. She didn't want me to do this in camera. Yeah, I think I mean, we got enough room. Okay. So here we're taking our trimmer and we're just gonna cut this, uh, I want to say pumpkin pie, peach pie, down to one inch. And this is eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna cut one inch off and then we'll be at 10 inches. Um, otherwise, if you want, you can extend this arm out here. It's really nice. I like this trimmer. So I was looking at how you put this together. Mm -hmm. And if you wanna make sure you're lining everything up, you could see there's some little bumps on the underside of the top of the tree house or bird house. Mm -hmm. And you just, boom, line those up there on both sides and then it's straight. Pretty smart. Perfect. Like Stampin' Up knew what they were doing. Perfect, imagine that. You know, it's pretty nice how they do that because they do take in, into consideration um, certain stamps that might work with the die that may not necessarily um, coordinate with that stamp set. Um, that's what I like about Stampin' Up. They're, they're always thinking ahead. What are you doing? Okay, so this piece right here, I just took our die cut circle with our, our oh gosh, peach pie. Peach pie. <laughs> Peach pie designer series paper. We actually have banana pie upstairs kind we of do. chilling a little bit. So <laughs> it's a good thing there ain't a banana pie color in here. Yet. 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 <laughs> yeah, that should exactly. have been lemon lolly. should have been ba banana, banana pie. pie. No. No, because then it would, have, it would have been BP. It wouldn't have been P, you know, PP or BB. Oh, yeah. yeah. They like to do the yeah, alliterations. Yeah. There you go. Barely banana it used to be a color, barely but it could be banana. barely banana pie. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have um, our circle on here. I'm gonna grab a couple of our flowers that I colored ahead of time. And what I did, I'm gonna take our little sand right here is I kind of laid this down on top and I kind of placed where I thought my flowers should go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that while Kayla is doing her thing. My thing, uh -huh. I'm just gluing now like the decorative. No, I put it on the wrong side. Wipe it off. And then we'll use our embossing buddy on the back side. Do you have a tissue? Yeah, I'll get one. I, oh. Okay, we both left. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was like, oh, okay. You're making it, so I thought, oh. I put it, so make sure when you put it on, you wanna put the glue on the front part because it's gonna to stick to the back of the birdhouse. There you go. So I'm just wiping the glue off. Get that excess sticky stuff. And then we're gonna take the embossing buddy. And if you don't have an embossing buddy, this works really good too. This is Tailored Expressions and it is the powder on the inside and I love this. When I make albums, I just pounce on it and it just poof, poof, it's so cool. There we go, not sticky anymore. Okay, perfect. Magic. Okay, so now if you're worried about where your placement is, you can always take this and put it down and line up where the house is, where you want your house, and then you'll know where to place your glue or whatever. That's smart. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. I would have had this sticking out the bottom. <laughs> and then I would have been like, well, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I thought I had it fixed with the embossing powder, buddy. But nope. And okay. I messed up. So we got one flower on over here. Now I'm going to just take and glue. I'm only putting glue on the part that is going to be attached. Because I want my me. flowers to hang off. And then, of course, this is where we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. And so I'm just going to make a mental note that 
basically between my two fingers here is where I want to have my dimensionals. So if you join our VIP group, if we're going to show you how to make this, you could make this with the actual set we are using, or um, you can, hold on, I'm trying to make sure my flowers are going in the right direction, or you can figure out, you know, I, hey, I have this other set that I think would look really cute with this, and we're going to show you how to do it. So and showing you all the, the stuff that you need if you're going to make it yourself. Yes, exactly. So we're going to have a lot of fun because I think Kayla and I might have a little bit of dueling challenge going on Ooh, between of us. Who's um, going to make the better alternative? Yes, exactly. So, I mean, we're, we're going to show you, but we're also going to be crafting right along with you guys. So Real time. We like yep. to have fun. So you'll get to see all four of our projects. So all of our Thursday videos are going to be the ones that we're going to show you how to make. Okay, so now that we have our saying on here, I am going to bring in our Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to dab just a tiny bit in the, in the center of the flower. Just adds a little bit of sparkle right there. Do you have mini dimensionals? I do, because I cleaned You're gonna today. You're going to share them with me? I got a whole bunch. Oh, wow, thank I you. I know, you're welcome. All right, so I have that. Now I'm gonna bring in our brass butterflies. And on here, it looks like I use three tiny ones. Hey, get it right, it's brushed brass. Oh, what did I say? You just, just said brass. brass. Oh my good it's golly. brushed brass butterflies. Goodness, I, I didn't use the proper words. You didn't. So you should sorry. be so ashamed of yourself. I know, doggone it. Okay, so I think I got one over here. Got one over here, oop. And I put one up over here. So we have that done. Now, we're not gonna adhere this oh. quite yet until after the card is done. And what I did with this is I just adhered it with, oh, it looks like just one dimensional. That's surprising. Hmm. Just one? Just one, look what at that. What is wrong with I know, you? I don't know what's going on. I, I have no idea. I'm trying to conserve, I guess, and Jeez. I don't realize it. Now, don't forget about this little piece. I won't. Don't worry. Okay. Just getting my birdie done. So, yeah, this this was a lot of fun doing this card. I, I love how it turned out. It did take me quite a few hours. To design to, it? Yeah, it did. It did. I I mean, the fun fold was easy um, to do because, you know, it's just a few folds. And um, it was just trying to get it to how I wanted it to look. Hey, you know, it would be funny. That was really challenging. If this said happy bird day. <laughs> Funny. Happy bird day. Happy bird day. <laughs> well, you're going to need to mention our brushed brass butterflies. I am. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these extra little birdies that um, we have colored up already. So you don't want to use a lot of glue on these things because if you use too much and you go to lay it down... You're going to have glue spreading everywhere. Now, another thing to do is these teeny tiny ones, you could always use our adhesive sheets. Um, so it's basically double-sided tape, um, and it's got um, the stuff that peels away from it, uh, away from it. it. <laughs> it on both sides. You take that adhesive sheet, you apply it to the cardstock, and then um, you do your die cutting, so then it makes a sticker out of it right away. It's really cool. Makes it a little bit easier. A little bit easier. Especially yes. if you're not super controlled with the glue. All um, right. Oh, take your pick. Yeah, I was going to say, take your pick tool, please. There you go. And thank you. Are you just going to hog oh, it? Oh, and I didn't color this. I didn't use Wink Stella on the inside either. What? What's going on? Oops. It's okay, like she was on. too distracted with how beautiful the card was I to begin was with. so distracted. I was so proud. It is a really pretty card. I think it turned out excellent. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Color the inside of your flowers. Oh, one's kind of like hiding behind the oh, that's bird okay. anyway. Do whatever you can. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. All right. So now you are ready Teamwork to... makes a dream work. It does. So you are ready to put your little birdhouse on your, oops, sorry. This does stand open like that. So now the easiest thing that I did, you got to I know, it was out of frame, so I was trying, there we go. There, okay, okay. what'd you do? 
So now the best thing I did is I kind of, I'm wiggling the table, sorry guys, um, is I kind of figured out where I wanted it uh, a couple dimensionals, just like make a mental note. And I just put three. So you can put one right in the middle and then maybe one on each side of that dimensional. Did you put them on the white part? Yep, I did. Then I know for sure. So obviously middle. Yep. Can't you go like one next it's to it? wider at the top so you have sure. less margin of error? Sure, that works. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. That is awesome. You're so smart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How does it feel to have a smart daughter? I don't know. I do not know. No. <laughs> there. Awesome. See? Easy peasy. Easy. Look at that. You guys, she did it. That's Ta-da. Look at that. So whoever gets this is going to love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, now this is a, it's a little bulky, guys. I'm not going to lie. You definitely need the extra stamp if you're going to send this. Yeah, you do. Um. This is one of those cards you give in person. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bulky, but it's okay, it's all good. So now what I like to do with belly bands is I take our piece and I just like to gently wrap it around. You don't wanna do it too tight, otherwise they're never gonna get it off. You wanna be able to slide it off nicely. So okay. a little, little snug, but not too snug. Not too snug, okay? And I did 10 inches on here, and if you wanna do a little bit less, you certainly can. Now how I started mine, I started off kind of to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take about, well, maybe another inch, three quarters of an inch off. And that's just kind of how I bent mine over. If I would have moved it over more, it would have been fine. So basically, you want it to hide. Yes. So basically you want this to hide where they tie together. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put a little bit on the inside here. And then we're gonna line them up. Belly bands are so easy to do. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. One, One moment. moment. Okay, now we're gonna take a couple dimensionals, maybe three, because last time I only did one. Because she's weird. I don't know why I only did one. And another one. How many dimensionals did we use on this? I don't know why I didn't count. <laughs> I didn't either. Okay, so now we can place this directly in the front on there like so. Ta-da! Oh my God, that's so stinking Now this will slide off really nice. That is I so stinking cute. I love it. Whoever came up with this fold, I don't know if Karen Titus did or, or what, but it's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun fold. <laughs> it's and a it, lot of fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. Isn't that? I think it's precious. I want to stare at it forever. I love it. I think it's pretty. <laughs> it's and so it matches cute. my shirt because I'm wearing peach. She is wearing a peachy color and it matches my fingernails. It does. Oh, I like it. Oh my gosh, how did we do that? We always do that. I don't know. We didn't plan it either, I'm no. telling you. Uh, <laughs> thanks for oh, watching yeah, us yeah. today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and is subscribe to our channel because we post videos all the time showing you how to make crafts. And then if you want to get into the VIP group where we're going to show you how to make these cards or this card using supplies you already have, plus three other ones, mm -hmm. make sure that you order a $50 in product with us by April 27th, like the morning of, and we can get you the information. Absolutely. Um, you got plenty of time. If you can't watch us live, you're always going to have access to the replay, but it's exclusive. So it's just meant for you and those who mm -hmm. purchase with us. So Exactly. And if you guys uh, got in on our product purchase, guess what? Product share. Oh, what did I say? Product purchase. Product purchase. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> product share. <laughs> product share. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm thinking product purchase premiere. You I think will, up. you will get invited to it. However, they have until April 30th to pay. So they might get in on the next month. Oh, very mm -hmm. true. Very so, true. So just give me that heads up that if you do our product share, we get a hefty sampling of all the new designer series paper and all the new ribbon. You're mm -hmm. going to get into the VIP group. Yay. <laughs> oh, that's like a little shaker. Oh, it totally is. It's weird. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
my gosh. Multi-purpose car. It is. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us today, guys. We're happy to see you and hang out with you. We will see you in our next video, which we'll be posting on Monday. Bye. Bye-bye.